<laughs> Do you know which one I mean? I yeah, I I've watched part of it and I'm a bit like... <laughs> Thinking a tennis racket was a guitar. Andy Murray. I think for me, because one, he's British, and also just his fighting spirit and how pumped up he'd get. And also, I would get a bit annoyed on the court when I was younger, and I could relate to it. Do you ever feel, do you still feel a little bit kind of starstruck at all? Or? Yeah, I mean, sometimes, I guess, but uh, I work with his father-in-law, so it's a little bit more normal now. I don't know, I feel embarrassed when I miss a shot. I've celebrated early, that's for sure. I think all of us have. <laughs> I mean, anything with Jen Brady. I hope she comes back soon, because we miss her. Rafa, big Rafa last. fan. The last film I watched, I haven't finished it yet, is Our Father. I feel like it's a bit disturbing, so I don't really want to say it on camera. <laughs> Do you know which one I mean? I yeah, I I've watched part of it, and I'm a bit like... Something to do with forensics be like one of those NCIS people. I've done a year of forensic psychology. My best friend on the circuit would be Lizette Carrera, Aussie player. She's been injured a little bit, so we haven't seen so much of each other, but I usually go to Australia early and, early and spend Christmas with her family. My biggest rival would be my boyfriend at Uno. <laughs> Volkswagen Polo, Priscilla. <laughs> Priscilla the Polo. And I say it's my car, it really wasn't my car, it was my sister's car because she learned to drive before I did, even though she's younger than me, because I lived in Istanbul for two years. And yeah, and then I kind of hijacked it. Fed Cup. The Copper Box against Kazakhstan. That was an amazing venue and excited to be able to host in November. Has, has a Hattie. Um, my sister calls me Haribo because I love Haribo. <laughs> Um, but yeah, lots of different nicknames, really. My proudest moment is Wimbledon Finals last year. My best performance probably is in Wells this year against Vitalina. I was struggling to kind of get into the match and then for me to be able to turn it round and mentally be able to, you know, pull myself out of a really tough situation, I was really proud of that. Getting to explore new places and new food restaurants. English and sarcasm. <laughs> and I'm learning Norwegian. My boyfriend is from is from Norway, so I've got to try and learn some some phrases for sure. The last book I read was Richard Branson's book. I was fortunate enough to go to Necker Island last year and spend some time with him, so I thought I should read his book. 